Welcome to the presentation of uh, Northern College about international students who are arriving to Canada recently. Uh, this presentation will basically educate you what to expect, what are the things that you are supposed to bring in with you, and how to cope up with the cultural change and the time zones and everything that is changing with your routine life in India or any other country that you're coming from. Um, this presentation is mainly based on to give you a kind of an overview what are the changes that you can expect and me being an international student what are the experiences that I have been through. So let's start this presentation and um, basically let me um, kind of educate you something about uh, Northern College. We are located in four campuses. Um, Timmins, Musini, Haleyberry, and Kirkland Lake are the four campuses that we are located in, and we are located in northern Ontario. Um, this, the province of Ontario has been divided into two major parts. One is southern, and the other one is northern. Most of the colleges and institutions are in the southern part of Ontario, but some of the colleges like Boreal or Northern College uh, Canada or they are located on the northern part of Ontario and there are some benefits of being here. Uh, northern Ontario is more on the northern side as it says but it also has the basic advantage of being isolated from the southern part where there are less population and it's been noted uh, for being having more snow here and that is one of the reasons that international students don't select northern ontario and it was sorry being in a place where you have more snowfall uh it makes you more paranoid and thinking more about what you're going to do and how you're going to cope up and that is a very natural response because me being an international student also felt that. Today I work as an international clerk with uh, Northern College and uh, I was in the north from the very start when I moved up to Canada. And I would say initially I did felt that change from the southern part of, of this province. However, it doesn't make a huge difference because at the end of the day when you are going through your life, um, outside doesn't make that much of a big difference for me and we have more than 70 students over here in Northern College who are successfully able to start up their career, start up their family, and even are doing very well in their life at this point. Um, when it comes to Northern Ontario, there are so many benefits that I would go through. One would be the chances of getting employment are much faster because people are less education institutions have more students graduating, which helps you to get placed within your career, within your selected field easily. Plus, um, I wouldn't say Southern Ontario doesn't have that kind of success ratio as Northern Ontario, but it definitely has its own advantages. And it you are already been noticed at the time when you are educating yourself because whatever field you choose, there are very limited number of employers and who are always needing people in order to grow more. Um, Northern College, um, as it shows in this map, is basically um, surrounded and dedicated to spread education in the northern part of the country. The campus located in Musini is very isolated. It's right next to Hudson Bay, um, which helps um, Ontario Minist Education Ministry to kind of spread around the education and courses all over Ontario. We are being very proud to spread this kind of work with the northern parts where we are able to reach up to every student through different sources like Contact North and our satellite um, stations where we are able to educate students no matter where they are. Uh, we also have a small campus in Toronto where we uh, have some of the courses that are being sublet to them and students also educate over there. 
but we have only one or two uh, courses which work there and some of the other streams which are going. Um, talking more about um, the place over here, basically most of the international students end up with Kirkland Lake campus and Timmins campus. And I would like to educate you more about Timmins and Kirkland Lake because you are choosing to be here and you might well as well spend two years of your life over here getting educated with the college and with the community. Um, when it comes to Timmins and Kirkland Lake campus is a little bit bigger campus than Kirkland Lake because Timmins is, uh, I would say, the main campus where we do all administrative processes over here. Um, when Northern College was founded in 1967, um, we started with a very small campus based in Kirkland Lake and gradually we have four campuses. Today we have a coverage of 160 kilometer square range where we are able to educate students from every part of Ontario. Um, we can give services to more than 65 communities. Some of the communities are very isolated up north uh, with indigenous community too. We have very good success ratios with them. And um, when it comes to our vision, we always try to give excellence in our quality of education. We make it very accessible for every student. We have very innovative programs and we try to benefit not ourselves, but also the community too, which makes a very good choice for you guys to come in as a student with Northern College to learn more, not just about the studies that you choose, but also to learn more about the community and how the processes work over here. Um, Timmins is one of the biggest cities in Northern Ontario. It was started, the city started because of mining um, business that started over here. We are very good with mining of gold, zinc, copper, nickel, and silver. Initially when Timmins started, it was only a small uh, town, but then it got um, connected with the other towns nearby, uh, other towns like South Porcupine, Porcupine, Schumacher, Mount Joy, and now, the city became a city. An average population growth over here is 41,000. And according to the last census in 2016, it was 41,788. We have all the bigger businesses over here as Walmart, uh, Home Depot, Canadian Tire. Uh, this would be, um, I would say, the bigger institution as we have in our country as Big Bazaar, or the malls that we have in the city park where you have a lot of options to grow yourself you have a lot of options to kind of have part-time job opportunities where you can study with yourself gain experience within the community make connections meet new people and once you finish your education you can have options to kind of apply to the nearest communities because you will be well known working in the community um, Timmins uh, is a mix of different cultures. We have, uh, majorly Timmins has 50% uh, French people, so it's a bilingual town at the end of the day, but we have different communities that reside here. We have people from India, we have people from Sri Lanka, we have people from Ukraine, we have French people, we have Danish people, which together make a very multicultural city and everybody is very accepted over here and it's a very nice environment during summers and winters. Smaller town where the population varies around from 7,000 to 10,000 and it's one and a half hours away from Timmins, but it is connected with all local transportation systems. So we have buses going on on a daily basis. We also have shuttles that goes to Kirkland Lake Plus, people tra travel around a lot during Kirkland Lake, so you can also carpool together. Kirkland Lake was also founded because of mining. Uh, the major business with Kirkland Lake is gold mining. And Kirkland Lake is known for producing world-famous hockey players. So there, there's the 
huge hockey heritage museum down in Kirkland Lake, and it's a very proud community. Um, Kirkland Lake and Musli, I'm sorry, Kirkland Lake and Timmins campus are connected um, very highly because most of the courses are done internally. So some of the courses, uh, the teachers come from Timmins to Kirkland Lake to take lectures or some of the students sometimes during their courses come to Timmins campus to learn more and have a better idea about the course and speak to course coordinator. So when you decide to either come to Timmins campus or Kirkland Lake campus, you are very well connected with both of them. Uh, plus, when it comes, people have the biggest question, and when it comes to living in North, the biggest question is, how would I survive there? Well, according to my personal experience, when I moved up here initially, I did understand that there is a very small community here. There are very less people to talk to initially. Uh, I lived in Toronto for two years, and then I moved up over here almost three years ago. And I learned that slowly, gradually, you do have more activities that you can do as compared to bigger cities. I would say bigger cities have advantages where you have movie theaters, you can go for movies, you can have ball, bowling alleys, you have pool games, you have all indoor activities that you can do in bigger cities. But when it comes to north, the thing changed because you have all outdoor activities going on here. During summers, you can go golfing, you can go canoeing, kayaking, fishing. Even I felt if you go around the bushes and just sit there and have a good time, it relaxes your mind a lot. If you ask me, I would say outdoor activities are more enjoyable as compared to indoor, indoor as per my opinion but it depends on other people's opinion too but you would be having a question what would it happen if i'm not an outdoor person well timmins and kirkland lake they both also have a theater they also have a bowling alley they also have pool games they also have game sessions so there are enough indoor activities too but i would i would personally suggest once you go outdoor you're always an outdoor person because it not only just makes you go outside your house but it, it's very relaxing it's it's very fun going activities that go around um, during summers um, there are also hunting seasons where you can get a hunting license and you can go for hunting you don't have to go for hunting but there is a thing called as a group hunting where people get together they bring in food and they go for hunting and one of the person who has um, the permit can hunt and then the other people can help him to hunt. I went in twice. It was a very fun activity. You learn how to be quiet, even though it's so quiet out there. You have to uh, analyze, strategize how to hunt and what to do. And you also make good friends when you're doing that. Um, when it comes to winter, the biggest thing is snow. However, there are so many other activities that you can do during winters. One of them is ice fishing. So basically ice fishing is kind of a concept where the lake is frozen on the top and you build up a small hut in the middle of the lake. You sit around there with heaters and food and then you fish during the winters. It sounds really different, but it is fun. I did it twice and I loved it. Uh, you can also go snowshoeing. You basically wear snowshoes and you go in the middle of the bushes and just move around. Uh, you stroll around the bushes and you be near to the nature. You can feel the force of nature. The same trees that you saw during summers are the same trees still standing there into that winter. And that it's a whole new scene. So it's a two different aspects of nature that you can feel out there. You also have um, other options that you can do during winters is you can go on um, outdoor shiny. You can go cross-country skiing. You can go snowmobiling, which is one of the very most fun activities that you can do here. As an international student, I would imagine that initially you are in pressure to study, you are in pressure to finish up your um, tests, your exams. But during vacations, you can definitely go out for all these activities because we do have vacations at a very specific time. So during summers, you have your summer vacation where you can go for the other activities I told you about fishing and going into the bushes, playing, hunting. 
and during your winter break, Christmas break, you can go for the other activities that goes around here. Um, there are some bigger cities that are very important in uh, Northern Ontario. So Greater, Sud uh, Greater Sudbury is one of the cities which uh, has 161,000 of an average population. Thunder Bay is also one of the biggest cities. North Bay is one of the bigger cities and Timmins. Now, the main concept of talking about these cities is because we, as an international students, we need we have some needs which cannot be satisfied within Northern Ontario, especially as groceries or especially plans that we want to call to India or to our home countries and other stuff. Now, when you have bigger cities around you, you can go there and you can get your groceries. For me, I always go to North Bay to get my groceries done and it's only three hours away from here. So we all friends get together. We go to North Bay, we do our groceries. We have most of our stuffs and uh, come back at the end of the day and have a very fun session. So when you decide to be in either Timmins or Kirkland Lake, you still are not that far away from your um, Indian groceries or your relative groceries that you need, or maybe any specific needs that you have as an international or as an immigrant person here, because all these bigger cities have enough to suffice all your needs at any given point. Two um, dates, important dates that you have to make sure that you are here. The biggest thing is that due to strike that happened, you guys would already know about it. And I don't want to go into details uh, about the strike. But the only thing that I would say is most important for you is that the intakes this year has been changed and they have been um, held back a little bit. So the first day of your classes would be on January 25th. Uh, the full tuition fees would be due on January 19th. And if you haven't been able to pay your tuition fees, the late fees will be starting to apply from January 25th, the first day of your classes. Now, there are so many other important things that you have to consider before coming here. There is a, there is a list that we have created as a Northern College that we would like to share it with the students and if you have gotten your successful visa and if you have gotten your offer letter and everything and fees have been paid, you will be receiving um, a full list of things that we think that you should have before landing to Canada because I had no list and all I could get was the warmest clothes from India and I came here which was not warm enough. So we have basically made a full list to help you guys what are the things that you can bring in and not to worry about it because it does fit into two bags that you are going to allow and it will help you to come up with the things that are needed. Um, the deadlines and the dates, we will forward you through emails once we have your visa confirmation so that you have your visa confirmation, so you have your list and you also have the dates that you are supposed to show up to. Um, what are the things that Northern College can do for you? So I would say the first and the very foremost thing that I believe Northern College is different from other colleges is that we try to talk to each and every student personally for any of the issues that they have. Any other college would have more than 500 students internationally and it, it becomes hard sometimes to talk to them and to understand what they're going through. We as in college located in a northern community, we are blessed to have enough time to talk with every student and understand their needs and their problems that they're going through. We also provide free airport pickup to every student who has successfully gained their visa and we help them to get through uh, the initial days where it is, when it is the hardest to adjust with the difference of time, with the difference of culture, with the difference of language and every other thing. Uh, we also help students to get their initial consultation. Initial consultation would be something as how to get my SIM number done or how to get my GIC started, uh, GIC start coming up to me, how to set up a bank account, how to get the bus pass, how should I travel from here, is there any person who can help me to get a house, it's questions like that. We try to help students as much as we can and we have formative processes for all these initial 
issues that an international student or an immigrant would go through. We have been working on this from almost two or three years and we have been successful in placing most of the students doing um, their day-to-day -day needs, helping with their studies and also helping them to get their part-time jobs and also to build up their career. Um, all this information about how to get information for the local employers uh, to get part-time jobs or maybe how to get information for any nearest landlords where we can get a house for rent would be mentioned in the orientation. So make sure that you do be present in the orientation because orientation is very extensive and the biggest part of orientation is to help you guys to understand what are the do's and what are the don'ts that you are supposed to follow. So we look forward to seeing you while coming in this January intake. Uh, have a safe journey. And if you have any questions, you can still email us in international at northern.on.ca. Thank you and have a good day. I chose Northern because my mom went there and uh, she suggested taking the course specifically at that location because of the reputation they had. Local faculty that I did work with during my clinical experience and now are all very welcoming, they're very helpful. Northern College gives you so much experience and technical knowledge of welding that you are well equipped for the industry. My Northern College experience has been amazing so far. I met so many great people, especially the advisors here. They helped me through all my struggles and without them, I wouldn't have made it this far. I'm originally from Oshawa and I came up to Kirkland Lake because I wanted the smallest class sizes and the individual attention from my teachers, which I have received. My experience with the program has been a really positive one. I felt it's really contributed to my professional and personal growth. I developed friendships with the staff here because it's such it being such a small like a small campus there was maximum of I think there was 24 girls when we were here I found it really easy and really helpful like teachers were helpful and program was easy like compared to back home studies I've already noticed um, within my own self the, the skills and the things that I've been learning just going out in my own community I've already been seeing those skills coming forth out of my life. So it's not only in the workplace, but also every day. When you're in a northern college environment, you're not you're, you're not a student number. You know, the, the teachers really do take a personal investment in your studies, and they come to know you for your strengths and your personal qualities. I would say my experience was positive, and especially if we talk about our professors and other who are the staff and members or everyone, they are very cooperative and you don't have to be fearful when you're going to talk to them and they know who you are. And I wanted to um, find a career. I was alone with three kids and I had no income and I knew I needed to do something to better my life.